Hey, Francis, how are you doing? Yeah, good. You good? How you feel uh, for the beginning of the year? Good, good. Um, you know, great start. Um, us and Team USA um, getting done the United Cup, so that was big. And, you know, got to play five good matches here. I put a match here in Kuyong, where we're at right now. So, so good. Some good practice days, a couple days off. So, I'm, I'm ready to go for straight home. I've heard that uh, United Cup was amazing, but also very tiring because you were cheering for uh, for the teammates all the time. Absolutely, absolutely. Is it something you you felt? Absolutely, but you know I, I love a good team environment, so you know I knew that going in. I knew it was going to be you know long days and cheering for other guys, and you know it's not just about you, it's about everybody else. So I'm happy everyone everyone had a great week. Everyone played great tennis. Everyone won a lot of matches, and um, we got it done for America, so it was big. Are you tired of talking about Australian Open results, or we can go a bit? to it no let's do it yeah, it's okay it. yeah, yeah all right so first of all congrats for that mm. what happened what did you what did you do that changed and uh, that the US, yeah. the US Open yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what suddenly happened yeah I mean I felt like I was playing some good tennis going in I was on the brink a little bit and and then yeah you know I mean I just I just believed in myself honestly um, you know I stopped making moments bigger than what they were um, and I felt at peace I was trusting my game trusting what I can do and Yeah, I was serving well. I was, I was being more disciplined um, in the big moments, and and yeah, and then you start, then you get one big win, and you start believing, and then you get another one, and then by the time you know it, you know you're in the semis, and you know, set a way of making the final. So, um, you want to say more yeah. discipline? Were you working differently? I'm um, going in. I mean, no, it was mentally. Um, it was mentally in the big moments. I was trying to. Hit any crazy shots. You know, not trying to press or do too much. Just, just go for what you do. Big points. Go for the big serves. Um, you know, if the ball's there to hit, hit it. If you need to play 30 balls, play 30 balls. You know, just be solid. You know, whatever the circumstance brings, right? So, um, and just and and not being so internal. You know, like you know, what's the other guy doing? You know, if you're tired, he's tired. Yeah. Um, you know, what is his weaknesses and worrying about breaking him down. So, those are the kind of things. Are you close to the legends of our sport? Yeah, the OGs uh, for sure. Especially a lot of American guys, James yeah. Blake, Andy Roddick, um, Jim Courier. Not so close to Andy. I actually don't really know him at all. Really. Okay. Um, Agassi. Um, Agassi, I'm cool with. Sampras, I've never met. Um, Do you ag ask those guys a couple tips, advices? Yeah, I'm cool with Jim Courier, um, James Blake too. You know, I speak to him a lot. Um, yeah, and those guys, those guys are really cool. Mal Do they Washington. Help you? For sure, for sure. They give me free game. Um, it's one of those things I got to reach out. They're not just going to hit me up, but um, other than congrats and stuff. But I'm glad I have a relationship with those guys, for sure. There's something that amazes me when I see your bench on court. It's always so messy. What's going on? Yeah, no, <laughs> Is it the same yeah, in your room? Yeah, I don't know what's going on, man. It's, it's crazy. Is it um, the same in your head? Yeah. <laughs> No, man, I just, yeah, I'm so just focused on tennis. I take the shirt off and just throw it. it it's, it's hilarious. It's becoming like a thing. So, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm just going to keep it going. It seems like it's good luck. Do you have a special objective for 2023? Something that at the end of the year you would tell yourself, okay, it's been yeah, a great it's been one. A great year, yeah. I mean, I want to be in the top 10 in the world, for sure. Year end top 10, which is a big difference in being in the top 10. So, so that means, you know, I got to put my head down and get after it. And the slams, you know, I want to, you know, I want to go for one. Right? I mean, I feel like I have three legitimate chances. Every slam outside of the Franks, you know, the Franks that hasn't treated me so well, but other than the other ones. And, you know, Master Series, you know, I want to try to go deep in some Master Series, maybe win one. Uh, I got some big hopes for myself this year, but um, it's a day by day thing. You know, I'm not, I'm not really trying to, like, I'm not trying to rush anything. Um, I'm just worried about today, and, and then when tomorrow comes, worry about tomorrow. But, you know, um, I know what I can do, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put myself out there. Are you sometimes tired of traveling? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start myself better. You know, I love being home. You know, I love the game of basketball. I love being my friends. And friends. Where's home? Uh, Washington, D.C. and Florida. Okay. So between the both. And, you know, I love being my girlfriend, you know, my brother. Um, so I'm scheduling myself better. So I'm, so I'm peaking for the big events. You know, that, that's, that's going to be the biggest thing for me this year. Honestly, what you thought about Netflix series? It was launched I, yesterday. Yeah, I watched, the, I watched Nick's show and I watched Taylor's show. And that was pretty good. I mean, that was pretty good. Uh, I think it's going to be good for the game. It's funny because you know those guys so well. So yeah. seeing them on Netflix is funny, right? Because right. like, usually when I watch them, anything on TV, I just watch them playing tennis. So it, it, was, it, was, it was pretty cool. And um, I think it's good. I think it's good for the game. I mean, for people that don't know these guys and don't know, you know, tennis. Um, to, you know, push new faces. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's big, so... One thing to help the people watching us in their games, is there something specific you've just discovered during practice or a, a match, whatever, that 
make you feel better on court or more efficient? Something you recently um, put it in your, game, in your game? Yeah, I think, honestly, I think with the game going now. Right. Is there something we don't know about you? Talent, um, history, talent. anecdote, whatever. Something people need to know, actually. That, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty open book. Um, do you have a mental coach? I actually have been speaking to a mental guy, um, hence why I've been more locked in. Um, so, yeah, you know, I have a, I do have a mental coach. Yeah. One last thing about the brand, Yonex. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing with them, and how you feel with the racket? I've been playing with Yonex since 2017. All since right. 2017, you know, 19, and um, yeah, it's one of the best rackets in the world, um, if not the best racket in the world. You know, my racket, I feel like I can do it all. I'm serve big, and hit the ball big, got a ton of power, a ton of feel, you know, a ton of grab on the ball. What's your string tension? Uh, 42 pounds, so I, I, I scream really loose. So I can get a lot of zizz on the forehand, you know, these loose shots, you know. I like to, you know, racket be a little loose, and yeah, no, it's good. Thanks, open book. Yes, man. <laughs>